Hi viewers and uh, dear students, I am here today to explain Cambridge IGCSC ICT 2016 October November Paper 2 1 Presentation Part. So, in presentation part of this question paper, they ask us to uh, create a short presentation and import the file n216gym.rtf. So, we will open the PowerPoint first as a blank presentation and then we will go to the file and we will click on open from desktop from our folder the source files are already provided here all the files and we will choose the file n216gym.rtf so when it is inserted it will come with six slides so slide one two three four five and six that's all and then next step create a master slide so for master slide you just need to click on view then master slide view and move to the top of the slide here and then they say it that so then uh, create a master slide and then a plain white background so our slide is already with the plain white background next step a three to four point horizontal line across the width of the slide about three centimeter from the top so you need to include a horizontal line here insert so from shapes get a line and then how oh, before that you just click on ruler and then you click on the uh, insert to get the line yeah and then just draw the line so that is almost uh, three centimeters so I'm just going to draw the line here till the end cross the length of the slide as they have mentioned here yeah and that must be three to four point so the width of uh, this shape is three to four line point so I can choose even three point that is enough okay and then next step they have mentioned here the text Tawara Health Club Tawara Health Club they want in a black italic 36 point sensor above the line aligned to the top right of the slide so we'll get from here uh, a text box just like that and then we insert the text into that box yes just like this top right of the slide into 36 point and send serif font so I'm going to choose here Arial. Arial is one of the example of a sensory font. This is how it will look like. And then in the next step, they said here your name, center, number, and candidate number in the top right corner in 18 point. So here, this is the footer. I'm going to type my name, then center number and then candidate number write a line so we will move this one from here towards the right of the slide and that must be 18 point 18 point and in a dated dimension serif or send serif then after uh, automated slide number left of the slide so we don't need the date and we will take this one to the left of the slide so left align and this one is a right align uh, sorry this one is left and then the uh, name and center number must be right align that is done now we need to click on insert and header and footer just to choose from here slide number and footer as well otherwise it will not be visible in the final output now next step they said first level bulleted 
bullets formatted in 24 point italic with an arrow uh, bulleted shape so that is the first level so we need to make this one uh, 18 uh, 24 point 24 bold italic and must be in uh, with an arrow shape so we'll choose from here the shape for it uh, an arrow and then after yeah that's it and then after apply to the all slide these changes so just click on uh, that is already applied to all the slides click on uh, save or uh, before save it's already done here what we need to do is uh, do that make sure that uh, slide master text box did not overlap the slide so now place in your evidence document a screenshot of your master slide so you just take the screenshot of your master slide and then print it into uh, paste it sorry into your evidence document just like that and uh, if you require even you can uh, crop it as well just like that that's how it will look like then next step is make slide one a title and subtitle layout with the text center in line so we'll move to the normal view now slide one we will change the layout to title slide only center align just like that now next step is use the data in the file n216 total member dot csv to create a vertical bar chart to display the total mem number of members by membership type so in this case what we need to do is we need to open the file 21 6 total member dot csv this file so we need to produce a chart for a uh, total number of members by member type so here total number of members and then member type so just choose this column or just like that and then click on insert and then just click to create a normal 2d vertical bar graph when this is inserted what they ask you next uh, label the chart with the title total club members category series label displayed in full access titles are membership type and number no legend they don't want any legend so in this case we have uh, a format here uh, in when you just select this one we have a format with the left and right axis labels so we'll just uh, choose the layout from there yeah quick layout number nine and then have the title total club members at the top just click on home and then paste and then after here we need to have members uh, that is a membership type and then here we need total number of employees or number only just copy this one and paste it here after this all now place the chart to the left of the bulleted point on the slide with the title club membership so we just need to copy this one and we'll go to our presentation here club membership this one to the left so we will move this one towards the right and we'll just uh, paste here our graph this is how our graph will look like 
and then the next step is save the presentation and then print the presentation with six slides per page it means you have to go to file then print and when you're printing so you just select from here uh, the layout of the slide set how you want the slides to be printed so you just need to select from here at the moment as we have only selected the uh, chart we were in the um, excel so if you click on print here we have slide layout okay that is if you want to print a single slide and then after we have six slides original so this is how it will look like when you print and then they said print slide with a club membership on a single page and then we need to print our uh, current slide okay full page so this one they want to print also on the full page of the uh, document or the paper so this is what we have in the presentation part of this question paper so hope you have learned how to deal with the master slide and its properties thanks for watching subscribe the channel for more updated videos and information